I had gone through the demo uh, videos and uh, audios which are being there in the in the website. Okay. And uh, uh, hearing all those, I felt like, yeah, like this this can be this is actually the mm-hmm. the perfect site for me to to go to go on my uh, preparation, to go on with my preparation. And uh, I don't know, ma'am. Actually, I I felt the connect. Maybe like mm-hmm. I can I can. i can do it with with your uh with your guidance to be uh, to be honest and yeah i i chose it if one needs to understand the life it is it is uh, very much needed to go through literature not not specifically english literature but literature Any in general literature. right yes, right it's a reflection so, of society reflection yes, of life yeah yes ma'am. so true so embrace it love it and uh, don't get afraid of the syllabus and if still if you are finding it difficult go through the the website of arpita karwa <laughs> she has provided you the the exact strategy to to crack the exam Good morning. Hello, ma'am. Good morning to you. How are you feeling after clearing net? Firstly, I would want to start with this. Initially, it was unbelievable because mm-hmm. uh, the time I got the result was not at all expected by any of the aspirant of us. Like uh, right, prepared for the exam. Uh, it felt good, very good. To be very honest with you, and uh, yeah, it's a dream come true for me. Wow, wonderful! Uh, heartiest congratulations from the entire team of Arpita Karwa dot com for on your achievement and uh, pass on my best regards to your parents as well. I'm sure that they must be very very uh, proud to see you achieving this. Um, uh, you know, achieving this time. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. So I have a bunch of questions lined up for you, Akash. Um, I want to know more about your preparation journey, the challenges you faced. How did you overcome that? So, firstly, thank you for uh, signing up for this interview. I'm sure that people who are going to watch it are going to get benefited. Uh, will know the right uh, methodology to follow in order to achieve success. And if, in case they are making some mistakes, which they can rectify after listening to this video i think that will be a great thing amen anyway, it will be a so, pleasure uh thank you thank you so before we go ahead and talk about those questions i would first want to know about you where are you from how has been your educational journey so far i'm uh, i'm from tripura uh, one of the sister states of uh, the northeastern part of india and uh, my uh, graduation has been done uh, in ram thakur college uh, which is uh, in our state only and uh, i have done my P, uh, uh, masters in tripura university okay so, great and when did you complete your masters this year itself like uh, 2023 23 and uh, when did you plan um, and started your preparation for ugc net uh, when i was in the second semester i had decided that uh, actually uh, students of uh, masters degree they they plan for their career from then only like uh, they prepare for uh, whatever exam they are going to face after the masters exam so uh, i was a bit confused what to do initially mm-hmm. and uh, then one of my senior suggested me that i should appear for the ugc net exam which uh, may help me to uh, get admitted in a phd program so i uh, kept on searching and going through the sources where from i can get my uh, study materials and all which are very much required for the exam and uh, right then i got to know about you and this platform okay. which helped me get through it oh wonderful wonderful so uh, like to begin with i would first want to ask from you that uh, the moment you decided that you want to appear for ugc net you must have gone through the syllabus and then you know kind of made a timetable for yourself that this mm. is how i'm going to 
sketch out my preparation so how was that initial journey like like when you went through the syllabus and how did you decide that okay this is how it is going to be at the very beginning i was terrified i was just okay <laughs> what should i do what should i do after seeing the syllabus i was like mm-hmm. i was overwhelmed by the syllabus mm-hmm. so uh, i needed some kind of a guidance and uh, and actually the uh, students of northeastern part of india doesn't then don't have the the opportunity to uh, to explore themselves by some guide because mm-hmm. uh, we lack of it to be very honest we lack of it and uh, youtube is the only source for us so um, and uh, to be honest the youtube doesn't provide the sufficient guidance actually uh, i feel like the the educators in the youtube they are holding something back they are not providing mm-hmm. everything which are needed so uh, i had to offer something which will provide me everything and mm-hmm. uh, initially when i saw the syllabus in the website i was like like this is it this is the one stop solution where a student like me can get everything out of it so mm-hmm. yeah this uh, website helped me a lot to be very honest thank it helped you. me a lot thank you so much and uh, like uh, why did you choose online classes weren't there any offline classes available in your area no ma'am no ma'am not at all okay okay so uh, like i i would also want to ask that what made you choose arpitakarva.com there must be a lot of other options available so um, like how did you select that this is the platform which is going to suit your needs um, uh, i had gone through the demo uh, videos and uh, audios which are being there in the in the website okay. and uh, uh, hearing all those i felt like yeah like this this can be this is actually the mm-hmm. the perfect site for me to to go to go on my uh, preparation to go on with my preparation and uh, i don't know ma'am actually i i felt the connect maybe like mm-hmm. i can i can i can do it with with your uh, with your guidance to be uh, to be honest and yeah i i chose it great great and did you use any other resources apart from what we've been providing in the uh, online classes No, ma'am. I I didn't go for any. Okay, so solely you yes, relied yes, on the lectures yes. that we gave. Great. And um, what about paper one? Like, uh, how did you plan your preparation for paper one? Uh, I solely dependent on uh, YouTube and and few other uh, sources which are scattered uh, here and there. Okay. Um, solely, I was uh, solely dependent on the YouTube. I would say. Okay, so YouTube say, and were there any units in paper one which you found very challenging? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, since I'm a student of pure arts, maths okay. part is uh, <laughs> very difficult for me. Di and mathematics. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. So right. That part so that bothered the, me a lot. And uh, what what strategies did you adopt to uh, work on di mathematical and logical reasoning? Um. I mean, actually, if I uh, if I talk about the exam of uh, of my last attempt, the TI part was very difficult. So uh, it was, it was very tough for me to to complete mm-hmm. the entire paper in a in a uh, in a given time. Mm-hmm. So uh, one thing helped me a lot, uh, which is uh, one of my seniors told me that I should only focus on seven or eight topics, which uh, mm-hmm. on which I'm going to rely on mostly. since mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. i'm weak in my maths and ti part so uh, i i relied on his on his words since he got jrf in preparing by his own so uh, he was sort of a sort of an inspiration for me that uh, uh, if he can do it then i can also do it uh, so i relied on his words that yeah okay I, if i keep aside the maths part i can also com- complete uh, the required marks right right and that is very well said akash because um, even i feel that uh, paper 1 is a very very diverse kind of paper we have 10 units coming from different uh, uh, different different areas of life uh, there is research methodology then there is di then there is people and environment which is totally from 
a different yes. domain as such so it is very important to know our strengths and then to play with those strengths because weak areas where you have to put in so much effort and the cost benefit ratio isn't that great because you have to put in like 50 hours 100 hours to get those two three questions right rather than if you invest those 50 100 hours in studying paper 2 or maybe uh, studying topics of paper 1 which you are more confident about i think that uh, that is really uh, yes, a nice approach great great so i i uh, i really loved how you um, you know stuck uh, by the philosophy that was shared to you by our senior um and you kind of relied relied on it and did not like go haywire while you were preparing great coming back to paper 2 what according to you are the most important units in paper 2 because unlike paper 1 we don't have like uh, similar weightage to all the units yes ma'am so so what was your uh, experience in the paper 2 section obviously the british literature part because most of the questions uh, come from this this part only and right. after british literature uh, literary theories and criticisms and uh, and there are other sections like uh, um, uh, american literature then uh, mm-hmm. the cultural studies part actually uh, what i have uh, seen after going through the previous question papers that the static portions are british literature theories criticisms and and uh, and the other parts they kind of uh, shuffle they uh, right, right. sometimes the importance on, keeps on varying yeah. from yes. paper to paper so, right two two thing i would say that uh, theory and uh, and british literature if if, if any student would uh, like to appear for the exam for the very first time and they have very less amount of time they should only rely on these two parts and if they are uh, preparing for uh, for the second or third time which uh, i guess uh, would be their their best attempt they should go on with uh, with the other parts also other But parts also so, okay. theories are the most important most important thing and were there any specific uh, subjects or topics that you found challenging and how did you overcome them uh ma'am like most of the students of english literature i have found theory as the most difficult part since the okay. language of it is very tough for me i found uh-huh. it very tough but uh, as uh, i said earlier uh, in uh, your uh, in your uh, uh, curriculum the way you explained the the theories the difficult parts of it it was it was awesome i would say thank you thank you so much i'm i'm glad that i could make that uh... contribution in your life because uh, theory is something that a lot of people are afraid of and i i really believe that it isn't challenging it's just that we don't have a crisp understanding of it once we understand it it's really simple because it isn't rocket science where you have to do numericals and to get uh, to get to that answer it isn't um, uh, as difficult as those uh, uh, you know mathematical questions that we used to solve in our 11th and 12th grade um derivatives and all of that so it is just uh, a little difficult in terms of <coughs> it comes from a very different background so we are not yes. very um, exposed to the concepts of marxism so something from marxism when it comes into literature then you have to first understand the entire economics in order to understand what the writer or the author is trying to say so i'm, I'm uh, glad that uh, my lectures kind of gave you that clarity uh, and thank you so much for listening to them so um as so patiently that you kind of survive that thing because a lot of students they have this um, mindset that theory is difficult and they don't even try to give it a shot and let's just see whether we are able to grasp the concept or not right were you also um uh, watching the video lectures that we have recently uploaded uh ma'am uh, i enrolled in your uh, course in the uh, later half of the 2023 Okay. Uh, so uh, the video lectures are recently uploaded. I, uh, I okay. saw that. Okay. Okay. So right. Right. So I couldn't. I couldn't go through them. So you were thoroughly preparing from the audio lectures. Yes, ma'am. There were few videos But, which I had yeah. gone through, uh, and I would say they are very very beneficial for students because the way okay. you have done the mind maps, it's it's very good. It's very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, also, I wanted to understand what role did mock tests play in your preparation, like. Uh, did you go through mock tests in past year papers as well? Uh, ma'am, 
I had solely gone through the the um, past papers. Uh, okay. I, I didn't go through the the portions which you uploaded in your website uh, because okay. there is a scarcity of internet in my area. So I don't know oh. if if any time the internet goes down and and the mock test just fell apart in, in the right, middle part. Right, 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 right. And what what uh, what approach did you follow in solving these past year papers? Like. or uh, did you simply attempt the paper or did you take time to analyze it as well uh, to see where uh, what were the areas where you weren't doing good uh, not specifically like uh, mm -hmm. i was preparing as a whole preparing the paper was uh, mm -hmm. i liked the paper paper 2 was my interest area so i didn't have to to hurdle a lot with this so yeah it was it was good it is good right and um, how crucial do you think note making is in your uh, ugc net preparation like did you make notes and how was it yes ma'am i had i had uh, made each and every point clear in my in my uh, notebook because it is very much needed since we don't know what is going to be the cut off of this year or uh, the pre uh, the uh, the the exam pattern mm -hmm. or the exam difficulty so 6% is is nothing i would say because 94 of the students are going to be eliminated from the exam so absolutely i i have to prepare myself for the next e exam also the uh, next attempt mm -hmm. so uh, i cannot solely rely on the audio i had to make a note of a each and every word you made you mm -hmm. uttered so uh, this helped me a lot since it was my third attempt and i noted each and everything on my first attempt it helped me a lot noting is very yeah. very much necessary absolutely and what about um, you know revision like did you uh, adopt any specific technique to remember such vast amount of information that you've written down in your notes uh, ma'am uh, in terms of uh, in case of revision i mm -hmm. i followed one method that is if i if i read something last night i would read it again today morning with some new topic so that uh, the 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 thing gets reminded in my mind and i had mm -hmm. to uh, and i don't have to like go through it again and again because uh, my revision is also going on and my uh, my reading is also going on simultaneously mm -hmm. so i don't, to, don't have Wonderful. to i don't have to uh, uh, to to just uh, allot another time for revision revision right and it is very very crucial also that whatever you uh, learn the last uh, day if you can revise it within 24 hours it is scientifically proven that the data gets stored in your long term memory yes. or else you you'll forget so i'm i'm glad that you uh, adopted that strategy as well great and as you said that it was your third attempt so after experiencing failure in the first two attempts so how did you gain that motivation and prepared for the exam again uh and on my first attempt i was not at all prepared uh because i was uh, like let's see uh, how the exam goes so uh, mm -hmm. i i didn't have the time to be honest to prepare mm -hmm. for the exam and on my second mm -hmm. attempt i only prepared the british literature theory and uh, paper one part and the rest okay. of it was uh, just touched upon not that i was thoroughly thoroughly aware of it like um on the on uh, like uh, the way exam should be should be given but yeah i was familiar with the topics so uh, that was my preparation and on my second attempt i missed on only by margin of 2 oh. percentile so so it was a bit disheartening to be honest and but uh, my teachers helped me a lot to to go through that phase uh, they encouraged me a lot uh, so yeah this was my ultimate attempt i would say uh, because uh, i wasn't doing anything i was only preparing for the for the exam so yeah it was my best attempt and though i missed the jrf by by one one question that is two marks oh. but yeah I, i'm happy to be to be honest i'm happy mm -hmm. hey, and you've put in so much effort akash so um, when when the journey is something where you kind of gave your best so whatever result you get you you proud of yourself yes. and jrf is something that 
see it um, i i really tell students that even if you're very thoroughly prepared how you manage to uh you know how you manage to attempt the questions in those 3 hours plays a very crucial role sometimes we are heavily prepared but then it is just that moment uh, that one momentary uh, you know um, i i i don't know i'm not getting that word to describe how it feels when you have a question you kind of know the answer but suddenly there is some another voice coming from your heart which says that no it's not b no, c yes. and you just mark it and then later you realize that oh my god i i should have marked b why did i go by what yes. my mind was saying uh, the second time when i saw the question so it is just that game that kind of yes. takes you in the league of jrf or uh, in the league of net but i'm i'm very happy to see the level of your preparation so what advice uh, do you want to give to students who who might be struggling with ugc net preparation like if if you want to summarize and um, you know advise something to the students yeah what is my advice one thing that embrace the subject because it's it's very interesting very interesting english literature is something that is equivalent to life so if one needs to understand the life it is it is uh, very much needed to go through literature not not specifically english literature but literature in general literature. right, yes, right. right. it's a reflection so, of society reflection yes, of life yeah yes man so true so embrace it love it and uh, don't get afraid of the syllabus and if still if you are finding it difficult go through the the website of arpita karwa <laughs> he has provided you the the exact strategy to to crack the exam thank you so much thank you so much and i really loved what you just said that embrace literature uh, the journey has to be very uh, very enjoyable because destination to aap pahunch hi jaoge what what uh, uh, this uh, movie three idiots mein uh, amir khan says that success ke piche agar aap bhagte ho to aap shayad nahi pahunch pao but agar aap excellence अगर आप ये देखते हो कि मुझे सब्जेक्ट को पढ़ना है समझना है थरली इससे इसे अपने जीवन में उतार लेना है सो देर इज नो वे दैट यू के नॉट क्रैक नेट बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट दे आर इवन चेकिंग सो दाइंटी फोर परसेंट पीपल हू डू नॉट क्लियर मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर दोज हु हैव नॉट काइंड ऑफ एम्ब्रेस लिटरेचर थरली एज यू ऑल्सो सेट दैट योर सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट वॉज वेर यू जस्ट टच अपॉन अ फ्यू टॉपिक्स बट देन द थरो स्टडी ऑफ लिटरेचर हैपन इन द थर्ड अटेम्प्ट and you yes, you nailed it so i think your uh, story is uh, enough to showcase the importance embracing the subject has in any aspirant's life so wonderful um, i really loved how you have uh, spoken about your journey and i really admire the kind of passion you have for literature and i really hope that the same passion uh, you can um, kind of spread across in the university where you are going to teach you are going to become an assistant professor and there will be many more akash that are going to get uh, born from that classroom where you are going to teach thank you so, so much man i i really wish you all, thank you and i really wish you all the best for all the future endeavors that you are going to embark on and if next time you are planning to sit for grf i would I am I'm sure I would not say that I hope I see you in that list I'm sure that I'm going to see you in that list so we'll be more than proud to celebrate that achievement thank you thank you so much so keep it up and keep going like this uh, my best wishes are always with you and pass on my uh, love to your family members as well okay thank you i wish you good health thank you thank you thank you thank you akash Thank you so much for uh, joining us for this interview. Means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.